Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and can you believe it's already 2022? I mean, it's crazy, like where did the time go? But with every new year, there's a lot of energy and excitement and passion and motivation and a few pounds to shed. Am I right? And with every new year, it's an opportunity to start something new and it's an opportunity to start the year on the right foot. So a resolution that a lot of people have in the new year is to read the entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation in one year. But let's be completely honest, that is a lot easier said than done. And if you did it, hey, kudos to you. But life gets busy. We have a lot of things to do. Some of us, we have work, we have school, and maybe some of you guys have families to take care of. But that doesn't mean that our connection with God and our relationship with God can't become a daily habit and a daily routine. You know, I think one of the great ways where we can deepen our relationship with God is through consistent worship habits. And so what I want to do is I want to share with you a resource that I think will help grow your faith in 2022. So I part with Glorify, which is an app designed to help Christians such as you and I to structure our daily quiet times to help strengthen our relationship and connection with God. And so this app helps people to develop and to deepen their relationship with God no matter where they are and no matter how busy they may be. Now Glorify is not paying me to make this video, but if you do download the app with the link in the description box below, I do get a little kickback. But let me tell you what I love most about Glorify. All the content on this this app are bite-sized and manageable. They have music, devotions, journaling, declaration, and so much more. And everything is designed to help the worship experience be more accessible, encouraging, and here's the most important, easily repeatable. And some of the founding partners of this app include people such as Sadie Robinson, Corey Robinson, Priscilla Shire, and Joel Houston from Hillsong. But instead of me telling you what the app is like, let me show you how I use this app on a daily basis. Now, when you open the app, you're immediately brought to today's worship. And so each day has five sections and you work your way through all of them. And so the first is a daily quote from Spurgeon pretty good. And after you finish, you move on to the next section, which is the passage. And here's a cool thing. You have the option to either listen or to read the passage. Now for me personally, I like to read it because when you read it, it gives you the context first, which is very, very important when you're reading the Bible. And then here's what I love. I love how they display the passage. They do it verse by verse. So it doesn't look cluttered on the screen and you can tap on the screen to get to the next verse. So it kind of imitates Instastore, which I really, really like. And so after this, you move on to the devotional section, which you could also listen or read. And then the next section after that is the reflection section where there's a narrator that kind of guides you through meditation. And once you finish all four sections, you unlock the last section, which is the stretch goal. And this section pretty much has music, some declarations, and a closing prayer. And so after you finish all these five sections, you're pretty much done for the day, and you can do this easily in a couple minutes, you know, before you start your day or right before you go to bed. Hey, I hope you guys enjoy this app review. And if you're interested in Glorify, make sure to download it with the link in the description doc, uh, in the description box down below. I, I, oh, I can't say that. Hey, take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>